I was invited by Father June to talk to you about heaven. I will just talk to you about the theology of heaven. I am very afraid to talk about heaven because I am not sure if I can go there. Because Father June might go to heaven and might be surprised that I am not there. So, what is heaven for us according to our Catholic teaching? Heaven is part of the four last things that we Catholics teach and proclaim. There is death, there is judgment, there is heaven, and there is hell. So, for our conference today, we are going to talk about heaven. According to Fulton Sheen, heaven is love without pain. Hell is pain without love. And purgatory is love with pain. So heaven is life everlasting. Heaven is life eternal with God. There is eternity waiting for us when our lives on earth are over. There is the eternity of life, but there is also the eternity of hell. Hell is eternal and uh, there is no recess, there is no vacation from hell. On the other hand, heaven is eternal bliss. For our study today, I'd like to focus on three important words about heaven. Number one, heaven is a process. What do we mean when we say heaven is a process? Salvation is a process. It means that heaven was not just open to us when Christ died on the cross. Salvation is not just about an event in the past, which happened 2,000 years ago. Salvation, yes, is an event in the past. It happened at the crucifixion and then at the resurrection. But you must keep in mind that the crucifixion of Christ invites us to make it present here and now, and the crucifixion of Christ and the resurrection of Christ leads us to hope for something better than what we are going through now. So, heaven is a process. Salvation is a process. It is not just a simple event in the past. And when does the story of heaven begin? The fathers of the church always referred to the crossing of the Red Sea as the start of the saving event which is a prefiguration of baptism. Anong ibig sabihin nito? Our own crossing of the Red Sea is our own baptism. When we are soaked in the waters of baptism, we are cleansed, we die to original sin, and then we rise up with the new life of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So, when we say, that heaven is a process, we are saying that the doors of heaven were opened to us on the day we were baptized. So it is not really to be said that eternal life begins when we die. Right now, as you're listening to me, this is already part of eternal life because the door of life everlasting was opened for us when we crossed our Red Sea, and it happened at our own baptism. So salvation, heaven, is a process. Do not say, Christ has saved me from sin 2,000 years ago, and therefore I have nothing more to do but to accept Him as Lord. You must accept Him as Lord, yes, but you must also prove with your life, by your deeds, by your works, that you have really accepted Him as Lord in your life. So heaven is a process. It opened for us the door of life everlasting 
when we were baptized, and constantly every step along the way, we must recognize that we are getting nearer and nearer heaven. Heaven is an invitation for us to live as men and women of hope. Anong ibig sabihin nito? Sometimes we can be too secular, too worldly, too materialistic, that we just want to enjoy this world. But we forget that even if you live for 100 years in this world, that is still nothing compared to life everlasting. You forget that even if you enjoy the best cake or the best whiskey or the best champagne in this world, that is still nothing compared to the eternal banquet that we will share in heaven. As the Americans say, you ain't seen nothing yet. The best is yet to come. And the best that is yet to come is not going to happen here on earth. The best that is yet to come is going to happen to us when this life on earth is over. That is the best that is to come. That is why we Christians say, Maranatha, come Lord Jesus. We are not afraid of death because we know that death is not the end. Life is not ended. Life is only changed because heaven is a pilgrimage. Life is a pilgrimage towards heaven. And we are walking step by step towards our final destiny, which is heaven. One step at a time. It can be tiring. It can make us anxious. It can distract us. But one step at a time, we will get to heaven, our real goal, our real home. The second word that we must remember, according to St. Augustine, is that heaven is a reward. Oops, do not get me wrong. I am not saying that heaven is a prize for the well-behaved. I am not saying that. Because in the letters of St. Paul, especially to Timothy, the Lord says, when God crowns us, He actually crowns His own gifts. Let me explain that. When we say heaven is a reward, God is actually rewarding His own gifts that He has given to us. I'll say it again. Meron bang tayong pinanghahawakan? Meron ba tayong mabuting ginawa dito sa mundo na hindi galing sa Diyos? If there is anything that we have done here on earth that is not from God, it is only sin. If you are able to build hospitals, build churches, if you're able to build orphanages, and if you're able to feed millions, if you're able to cure millions of sick people, if you're able to teach and protect them from ignorance and confusion, is that you? That's not you. It is the Lord who has given you those gifts. It is the Lord who has given you the money to be able to feed them. It is the Lord who has given you the intelligence to be able to teach. It is the Lord who has given you the buildings. All of these are from the Lord. So when we say that heaven is a crown, when we say heaven is a reward, we are not saying that we work and work and work for heaven. No. What we are saying rather is when God crowns us, when God rewards us, God actually rewards the gifts that He has already given us. Because the gifts that God has given us, we make good use. And there is a rich, abundant harvest from the gifts that God has given us. And then God puts His crown, not because we have done well, but because He has given us so much for us to be able to do well. So, heaven is not a price for the well-behaved. You cannot buy heaven with good works. You cannot buy heaven with money. You cannot buy heaven by simply obeying the commandments. Everything that you're able to do is God's gifts to you. And when you're able to do carrying the good things that you have done here on earth in heaven, God crowns the gifts that He has already given us. So, hindi naman talaga siya reward. Hindi naman talaga siya prize. 
because every good thing that we have done is already God's gifts to us. And we have not done anything good except by the power, by the grace of God Almighty. The third word about heaven is obedience. Obedience. The doors of heaven were closed because of the obedience of the disobedience of Adam and Eve. And the doors of paradise were opened again because of the obedience of Christ dying on the cross. So obedience is the sure way to heaven. And obedience is the best proof of love. You want to prove your love? Love cannot be always romantic. But love always listens. And God listens to us. God, in a manner of speaking, loves us by giving us His ears. And when we listen, it is actually born of love. The proof of love is obedience. And we are saved by obedience. And the way to heaven is by obedience. The doors of heaven were opened for us by the obedience of one man, and that one man is our Lord Jesus Christ. When we were baptized, we were configured into Christ. So, here on earth, our only goal is simply that, be who you are. Be who you are. And who are you? I am Christ. Who are you? I am Jesus. I have been baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. I have been configured to Christ. And as a member of this church community, I am a part of the body of Christ. Now, my dear brothers and sisters, be who you are. Your body is not yours. Your body is Christ's. Your mind is not yours. Your mind is Christ's. Not, there is not one cell or tissue or bone or blood of your body that is yours. Because every bone, every drop of blood that is in you belongs to Christ. Be who you are. And who are you? You are Christ, the obedient one. Three words for us to reflect on heaven. Keep in mind that the way to heaven is a pilgrimage. It is a process. Salvation is not just an event in the past. Salvation is happening right now. Salvation is looking forward with hope to the best that is yet to come. Keep in mind, keep in mind, my dear brothers and sisters, that the best that we can experience here on earth is nothing compared to the joy that is waiting for us in heaven. Heaven is a crown? Heaven is a reward? Yes, but God crowns what He has already crowned. God crowns His gifts. So it is not us that He crowns. It is what we have done with the gifts that God has given us. And in that sense, God crowns us in heaven with the glories of heaven. And Finally, obedience. You want to get to heaven? Obey. You pray the rosary? You receive the Eucharist? You do charity for the poor? Yes, do it. But most of all, obey as Jesus has obeyed. Obey like Jesus. Be who you are. And who are you? I am Christ. I belong to Him. And all I all that I have, all that I am, belongs to Him. When you put it together, that is heaven. God bless you.